for check journal is uh, four five one two three. Four five one two three. Now return artwork journal. Return artwork will be on the debit side of the creditor. Return. Is an artwork journal that is a one forty five. Now returning one journal must be here. You know when goods are returned by the customer, it reduces their debt from the seller. And uh, when goods are returned from the goods that you purchase, it reduces your uh, creditor's account as well. Now check receipt from the customers. You know, part of the money that is owned, so check was received from it. So it reduces your your uh, your debtor's account. So you write checks. Check received from customers. That is a five fifty thousand. Now, cash refund from the supplier overpaid. Overpaid. Now, cash refund is a when there is a kind of payment overcast. When you instead of this supposed to pay twenty naira, you pay forty naira. So twenty naira will be returned back to you. That's what we call cash refund. So it has to be here. Cash refunds, and that is a one 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 seven. Then three questions to go. Cash pay to supplier. That means out of the credit that you make, purchases that you make, you pay it to the supplier. So cash check. Sorry, check pay to. Supplier, that is a uh, three zero and uh, one two seven. Then two questions, two more questions to go. Debit note issued. Debit note issued. Debit note issued is prepared by the seller. And how much is it? And that is a uh, that is three three twenty that is three seventy sorry then contract settlement contract settlement don't forget I told you the other time that anything that has to do with contract is also the same thing as set up that means somebody is owing you and you are owing that person. Like I said the other time, somebody is owing you 30 and you are owing that person 30. So 30 for 30, you see that you don't have anything to pay each other. So that's what we call set off. So we just write here. Set off contract. That is a 700. And you know it, 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 it will affect the two accounts. It will affect the credit side and it also affect the debit side of the creditor's account contract that is a seven hundred. Now, credit note issued. Credit note issued. Here, the credit note issued will be on the credit side of the debtor's account, and that is a. 300 where is the debit note received is 65 naira so having done this we see that this is the amount that your customer is doing you because you are you are preparing an account on behalf of your customer which happens to be your debtor 
this is the amount that they owe you, and this is the amount they pay. So if, that's why control account is a kind of adjustment. You want to adjust to know the closing balance at the end of the year. So you add this, you learn this from here. If this one is greater than this, then you put balance. If this one is greater than this, that means you have a balance. Then, also we add this from this. Or this, this should be greater than this. If this is greater than this, you have a closing balance. And if one is greater than this, you have a balance at the end of the day. Now, let's go. Closing balance. Now, the total of this amounted to 6, 5, 7, 0, 2. Now, if you add the total of this, this side is greater than this, that calls for a closing balance. So there is going to be a balance after adding all this. This is a 7, 0, 2. Now, so the differences between this side and this side is uh, 13,792. Now, so at the end of the day, this is the closing bar, debt of balance you have at the end of the day. So this is the amount of the debt of, amount of debtors that you have in figures. So you bring it under here that balance Balance BD, which is a 13,792. You can also call it a balance BD instead of writing closing balance. But for you to know it very well, that's why I use a closing balance. So this is the amount that the, your customer owes you at the end of the month. Under here, the total of this, we have. 52640. This side is greater than this uh, debit side. So the difference is the difference is there is uh, 2950. So this is the total creditor that you have. That is the total amount that you are owing your supplier at the end of the day. So you bring it down here, balance BD, which is a 795. And uh, let us forget, don't forget, if you are given a kind of question like this, it must have a heading. And this heading, the question said, can it, uh, has it limited? So you must put it at the top so that they won't reduce your mark. So, Kazim Limited Debtors Sales Ledger Control Account. Then also, Kazim, Kazim Limited Creditor Purchase. So, when you are preparing an account, you must make sure you write a heading. That also attracts mark at the end of the day. So, these are the items you prepare for the debtors and creditor, creditors control. I can't. Now, these are the questions for the remaining four things which we have uh, done justice to earlier on. And we have a lot of questions that pertain to this thing. Number one question says, the accounting concept that assumes that a business will continue operation for an indefinite period is option A, we have business entity, B, going concern, consistency, duality. Then the second question, the accounting concept that states that the firm financial affairs must be separated from that of the owner private transaction is business entity A, B, going concern, C, consistency, D, duality. Then the third question, the principle of the one entry states that every debtor must have a credit A, that the first principle said the principle of relevancy bookkeeping states that a every debtor must have a credit b every account debit must be immediately credited c for every debit entry there must be corresponding credit entry and d for every double, uh, double debit 
there must be a double credit. And uh, uh, the fourth question says the concept that states that business should not lay claims to any profit before it is end with reasonable certainty is a consistency. B prudency concept. C we have a accrual concept and D we have going concern concept. The fifth question says the entry to record good board for cash are debit A debit cash account credit purchase account B purchase account credit cash account C purchase account credit store account and D uh, debit purchase account and credit uh, good account. Then the six questions on presented check are check A that have been recorded in the card book but not by bank. B that have been received by the bank but are not recorded in the card book. Then C returned by the bank. Then D written but not handed over to customer. Then the seventh question says in the operation of an impress system of petty cash, the petty A, the petty cash pays all the expenses. B Petty cashier pays money to accountant. C. Petty cashier regulates begin each period with the same amount of money. D. Make cashier account to the petty for some expenses made by him. Then we have uh, the um, eighth question. We say which of the following enter in a general journal? A. We have purchase of good. B. We have sale of goods on credit. C. We have return in word. And D, we are acquisition of fixed assets. D said, uh, nine, question number nine said, cash receipts and payment involved discount are A, three column card book, two column card book, C, analytical card book, D, petty card book. Then the, uh, no, uh, the uh, number 10 question says, the